pickle jar and removed the top. Stepless drill bit to drill three holes to size. I'm for a hole for the soldering iron. I'll two more holes, one for a Bic Pen body. There the bicycle pump will go. And here is the Bic Pen cap where we've attached a 3 8 inch ID uh, hose with a clamp. Quick setting 24 hour epoxy to seal each of the holes. A bottle of baby oil. This oil will burn as it soaks in the rag. So halfway to the blue line. You felt. Place a blue rag in there and let it soak in the baby oil. It's supposed to be like a wick, so make sure that the whole rag is soaked in the oil. Saturate the top, we'll soak it a little bit. Next, we'll replace the pickle jar top. The tip of the wick is touching the soaked rag. We've plugged in our soldering iron. As the soldering iron heats up, we should start seeing smoke. So we've waited about five minutes and we have plenty of smoke in there. We have a little bit of a leak on the top. It's not super sealed well. So plenty of smoke will come out. That's ready to go. We remove the purge line, it comes out of your purge valve. And this goes straight back to the gas tank and all components in the rear of the fuel system. So we remove this green clip and remove the top. We'll take our 3 8 inch ID and pop it on. That will allow us to inject some smoke and pumps. As we take the pumps, air goes in, pushes the smoke out. So once you've isolated your leak, you could remove your hose. See some of the excess smoke came out. Um, there's actually still smoke coming out of the EVAP system. Place the purge line that goes into the purge solenoid. There's a green clip. Clips right in. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing.